Hey guys, it's Julie with Julie's Designs. Today I am at one of my favorite sales of the year. It is the annual Trash to Treasure Attic Sale. And just by the name, you know this is a sale that I love. I've been coming here for the past six or seven years. It is anything and everything, lots of antiques, lots of used stuff, lots of all the things I love in one huge place. It is a non-profit sale. It happens every year. It's actually been going on, on for two weeks already. Today is the last day and everything is half price. This is the only day that I have ever come and there is still so much stuff. Like I can't imagine coming on the first day and seeing what they have. I would just be so overwhelmed. So I just always come on the last day. Maybe one year I'll come earlier, but for now I'm fine with the last day. I'm actually here like 30 minutes early and there's already a line of people. So I'm going to make this really quick so I can go get in line as well. Um, you definitely want to be prepared for the sale. It is fun, but it is a long day. So they're actually at a new location this year. So I'm not sure where it's going to be. I'm a, I came early cause I'm a little bit nervous about that. Like before it was always at the same place and I knew everything's kind of like set up in different departments. And so I knew where my favorite stuff was and I would go straight there. So I'm sure it'll be set up the same way, but I'm still going to have to figure out where the things that I want are. And also there was no bathroom at the old location. So I definitely stopped and used the bathroom before just in case there's no bathroom here. I'm not bringing in a purse. I brought a jacket with a bunch of pockets. I got my phone. I got my money. I'm bringing a bag just in case I can't get a cart. I'm bringing a snack. I'm bringing a bottle of water. Like... You want to wear comfortable shoes, you want to be prepared for this sale. Unless you just come in and having fun. But even if you come in and having fun, like, it's a long day. Trust me. So, I'm so excited. I'm going to go get in line and I will totally film and show y'all some um, of the goodies that I get. Oh my gosh y'all it is 3 30. i have been here since 9 30. i have been here six hours there was so much good stuff of all the years that i've been here coming to this sale this was definitely the best i actually made two trips to my car well i still got to go back and get my stuff so what you do is you check out and then you can't take the cart out, which I didn't know because this is a new location. So I said, go get my car and like you line up by the door and they bring your stuff out to your car. And then luckily I was able to come back and get a good parking spot. Then I went back in and looked some more because I couldn't even look at everything. Like my cart was just overflowing <laughs> and I had to go check out. I had no choice. So I just finished shopping for the second time. I went check out. Now I need to go uh, get in line and get myself what shouldn't take long and then I'm gonna go to McDonald's and get a hot caramel macchiato I cannot wait I am so exhausted I still gotta drive home and get the kids and then when I get home I'll do a haul video and show y'all everything that I got I did get to film a good bit during the sale so I'll leave that to the end of the video if you just want to watch the haul and you're good if you want to watch me um, what they had at the sale then I'll put that at the end for y'all to watch so I hope y'all enjoy the kids are finally sleeping for the night so it is time to get to the fun stuff I get to show y'all everything I purchased today so I spent a hundred and thirty two dollars I bought roughly 80 items I just kind of counted up quickly and I didn't count if it was like in a bundle of stuff I just counted as one thing so it's more than 80 items but let's say around 80 items I spent a hundred thirty two dollars so that means I spent about a dollar sixty five on each uh, item if you kind of average it out so I think I will definitely be getting a return on my investment for everything that I bought today. I'm going to try to go through this as quickly as possible because there's a lot of stuff. All right, let's get started. I'm just going to grab and talk. Lots of baskets. If you follow me for any length of time, you know that I love baskets and I really tried to be picky, but there was so many good ones. 
So I got this little apple basket. It'll be cute. I'm going to be using these for staging and stuff for my next show. I'll put a price on them if somebody wants to buy them. But they're really just for me to use. But everything will be priced in case somebody wants it. And then I always love these little jars to put candy in and things like that. They just look great in every room in the house, bathroom, kitchen, wherever. And then I bought this little bird to put in the baby's room. It was just too cute to pass up. It was like 25 cents. All right, first three things. I got two of these. They're each a little bit different. These look great, painted up in distress, and then you hang them. They have hooks, you hang them on the wall and put some flowers on them since they're like brass and stuff. They look, they'll hold up great outside. So these are really cute and really popular right now. So I'll be painting those and styling them with some flowers. Another basket, this one's actually taller. They had so many apple baskets, it was insane. And they used a lot of them to put stuff in. So I was uh, taking everything out of them and buying them. And I think they were still there because people didn't want to be like that, but I will be like that. <laughs> So I like the uh, height of this one. It's a little bit bigger and taller than your standard apple basket. Another basket. This one kind of looks like the one that I have in the baby's room in the closet for her dirty clothes. And I absolutely love that one. This one's a little bit bigger. And I, this one will be for sale because I don't think I need it anywhere else. But you could also use it as a magazine rack or you could put it in the bathroom, which is towels. Or do like me, put it in the kids' room for them to put their dirty clothes in. That way it's not something too big where it piles up. You know what I mean? And then look at this jar. I love the size of this. So cute. And then I purchased two of these. They're just the tops of a cloche. And then what I'm gonna do is I have some cypress. So I'm gonna cut out a cypress circle and it's gonna be like really pretty on top of here. And then you can style it with like some lemons or some flowers. That'll be cute. So I had an idea for those and they were so cheap. So I wanted to pick them up and see if my idea worked out. I love pictures for flowers. And look at the shape of this one. I love this one so much. It just has this cute little handle. It is tall and skinny. This is going to be so cute with some flowers in it. And all this glass stuff, I'm just going to throw it in the dishwasher and get it all cleaned up. I found these two pillows. They are perfect. I don't have to do anything to them. They have the cute little buttons. They have the ticking stripe farmhouse fabric. They have pillows on the inside. So cute. They will be perfect with the stuff I already have going on. I'm going to throw them in my big old baskets that I have. Put a price tag on them. They're ready to go. I was excited to find those. Let's see. What's next? about this basket so another apple basket it's perfect color don't have to do anything to it i got this cute little pig it's ceramic and i'm gonna paint it a fun spring color and it's gonna look great and then i was excited to find these i've been trying to pick up lemons and stuff to to style every uh all of my items I'm really trying to work on my styling because I find stuff sells better when it's styled. So look at this big lemon and then this big pear I got. I can get it out the bag. So these will look great with all my stuff and I'll probably put a price on these too in case somebody wants them. They can go ahead and have them. more apple baskets so i'm i'm probably going to put a fresh coat of white paint on this top one and then this one is all wood it's perfect i don't need to do anything to it and this one is perfect as well at the bottom 
It has this pretty blue stripe on it. Absolutely perfect. So once again, I'm probably going to use these to style my stuff for the show and I'll put prices on it in case anybody wants it. But I didn't really buy these for resale. I bought them for myself. If they sell, that's great. Um, I bought, let me put this down so I can use my hands. I bought two of these. I love these little cheese graters. You can turn them upside down and put them on a piece of wood. You can style them with some flowers and then like a little towel at the bottom. And they're a cute little farmhouse look in the kitchen. Or in the bathroom if you want. And they're already rusty the way that I like them. So these will be perfect. I'm going to turn them into some kitchen decor. And then I bought a whole bunch of these. I love to, I use my Gorilla Glue construction adhesive and I glue these up so it stays like a little bowl. And then I'll paint them white or I paint it some like my pretty uh, spring color that I'm using and they sold already. So I need to make some more. So I got one, two, three, four, five. For 50 cents, I was like, let me just buy everything they have and then I don't have to worry about it. Like I have as many as I need. So you just, open them up and then I glue them in place. So they'll stay exactly the size that I want them to be. I don't know what these, are these like colanders? I'm not sure exactly what they are. Like they open up all the way. I've never seen one of these used in real life. I don't know, but I just turn them into little bowls and I'll take this like centerpiece out. And they're cute. I like painting up these things with little holes. They look really good. To put some fruit some flowers whatever and they just look good all right let's see how about this big picture so i was carrying this thing around and i had several people ask me "Ooh, where you got that from they liked it i didn't know if i wanted to buy it because it was 24 dollars, and i was like oh i don't know you know how cheap i am i'm like that's a lot but it's so big and it's the perfect size the colors are right for what I have going on for spring. So I'm just going to leave it as is and put a price tag on it. And if it doesn't sell, then I'll think about painting it like a little more modern farmhouse. But I'm just going to see if it sells as is because, the color, like I said, the colors are right for spring. It'll look great with some tall flowers in it. Let me grab these and show y'all. So you say, I don't know if I would go with yellow, but... You stick some tall flowers in there and that will be really pretty like next to your fireplace or if you have tall kitchen cabinets this would be something really cute I got three of these terracotta I honestly don't know what they are but I love the size of them and the shape of them. And terracotta is very popular right now. So I'm going to show y'all an example of what I'm going to do with these. They're all a little bit different. And they have this stamp on here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show y'all the look I'm going to do with them. Then I'm going to print out like this vintage looking label. And then Mod Podge it on there. And it's, it's going to look good. I don't know if you can imagine it, but I can imagine it. But the size of these are going to be so cute. So, like, okay, here's, like, a vintage terracotta pot that I picked up at an estate sale. So, I'm going to give it, like, this age weather look with this white. I'm going to put a white wax on it and then think, like, a white label on it. It's going to be cute. And it's going to go perfect with all of my stuff. Okay, I picked up this... Window frame, one dollar, y'all. One dollar. It's a great size, not too big, not too small. Put a little wreath on there. You're good to go. I'm gonna leave it as is. I'll just clean it up a little. It looks great. And then I was walking around with all this stuff in my cart, and this lady came up to me and she's like, Do you resale? And I said, yes, I do. She said, I can tell from the stuff in your cart. She said, can I have your phone number? She said, I have a lot of stuff because I was going to get into doing that and I never did. And can I just send you pictures and see if you're interested in any of my stuff? 
So I'm like, yeah, sure. So I actually gave her my Facebook page. I'm like, this is the best way to contact me. So she's gonna send me pictures and we'll see what she has. Okay, I got this frame. It's a great size. I had a few of these on my last live sale and I sold, I think I only have one left. So when I'm looking for old frames, which they had a lot of frames like this, but I'm looking for like layers of molding and diff different stuff going on. If it's just plain, I'm not really interested in it. I want something that I can paint and the stress back and you'll be able to see all these different lines. It's so pretty. And it looks great simply with a wreath or something here. I have one in my house like this and all I have is a wreath hanging in the middle. It looks great. Simple, easy home decor. So that one will get painted probably white and distressed and I'll sell it for, that one's a little bit bigger than the other ones I have, so maybe like $18 for that one. Okay. This is just a simple picture frame. It's like the right style. I don't have to do anything to it. It was 50 cents. So I'm like, I'll just pick it up, throw a price tag on it, and that is it. Okay, this one's for me. They had some really pretty art, but a lot of it was just priced too high for me to be able to buy and resell because the frames are outdated, most of the mats are outdated, and they're, I'm sure it's expensive to get stuff framed and matted, but it's just outdated. Like, I'm just interested in the print. But I absolutely loved this lemon watercolor. And the artist named is signed on there. It looks like something. It doesn't look like a reprint. It looks like something somebody did. So I'm going to frame this up, put a new mat in it, new frame, new mat, and this is going to look great in my house. I love it. I'm really into lemons right now. All right. This one's going to be sewed. I hope y'all can see how pretty this is. So it's like a watercolor background and then it's cross stitched on top. So it's like a mixed media piece. The colors are so pretty. It's like these blues and these pinks and the mat and the frames outdating it. But once I'm, I want to do a white frame and a white mat and then this is really going to pop. It is so pretty. I don't know, might have to keep this one once it's redone because this is definitely my style. I love these mixed media pieces. I love watercolor. I love cross stitching. I hope it's showing up how pretty and vibrant these colors are. This one's really pretty. I was excited to find that. Um, this is just a tray. I'm going to leave it as is. It's perfectly aged and great looking. If somebody has a white piece of furniture, this would look great just sitting on there with some fruit or some greenery or some little glass jars and stuff, it would look perfect. So clean it up, put a price tag on it. This one's ready to go. Uh, this is for me too. I needed some legal size files and this was a dollar. So it was half off today, it was 50 cents. You can't beat that. So yeah, I picked this up for me so I can file my stuff. And then I bought this magazine rack but I did not notice it was missing some pieces. So what I'm probably going to do is use it as a display piece. I have a bunch of breadboards that I'm making and they will fit perfectly in here to be able to stack them up all night, nice and neat and display them. And I won't sell this because it's missing pieces and it's not something I'm going to be able to fix. Like I don't even know where you get more of these knobs. This side has them all, but this side's missing too. So that's okay. No harm done. I'm going to use it as a display piece. Uh, they did have clothing and stuff there too. Not much. I bought me one shirt, this window pane button down shirt from O Navy. Cute. I purchased this little blanket. So this is, I'll probably, I didn't check for stains. I'm going to check for stains. If there's no stains, then I'll put a price tag on it. 
But really what I want is for my lighters, I want to have some um, little blankets on there, hanging on the ladder just to style it. So this is like a little cute crocheted blanket. It's the right color, right farmhouse look. So I'll pick that up. And then I had another one. Okay, this yellow one. Look how pretty. This is gonna look so good with all my stuff. It has some stains on it, so I won't be selling it, but this fringe and this color will be perfect to style on a ladder. So like, I'll have this one, I'll have this one. Can y'all see it? Oh, it's gonna look so cute. I'm so excited to go set up my booth. Like it's gonna be like a little store. I'm excited about like all the new shelving systems and everything that I have. I'm just really excited about the sale. Plus it's spring and I'm really, it's gonna be lots of white and then I'm bringing in like this bluish color and then pops of yellow. I got the lemons and, and stuff going on. I got these beautiful lemon wreaths and I'm just excited to style everything. Okay, they had like lots of vintage napkins and stuff. So I got all these. This is cute, but it just came with it. But these I love. They're like little patchwork um, placemats. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn them into my little bunnies I've been making. Cause they're so cute they're like little crocheted patchwork they're gonna be so cute turned into like little vintage bunnies so i'm gonna make a few bunnies out of those they'll look great and then i love this print on this um oh, pillowcase y'all how cute is this gonna be turned into a little bunny so i was like also looking for prints that i could bring in you know, with all my stuff. So this will definitely be a pop of color. If I was making pillows, this would also be a cute pillow to turn it into a little throw pillow, but I'm just gonna stick with bunnies. I'm good with that. This is gorgeous. I was trying to find a tag. I know y'all can't feel this, but it feels so expensive. It is gorgeous. It's like thick and you can just tell it is quality. It is so pretty. You can use this side or you can use this side if you wanted something a little more neutral. It is a table runner and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I just want to hold on to it in case I need to recover something like how pretty would this be on a bench, you know, a bench seat. So that's what I'm going to use it for. I'm going to hold on to it and see if I find a piece of, of furniture that I can recover. But this is so pretty. It's very farmhouse. The colors are muted. It's looking kind of pinky on the camera fine, but it's more of like a brownish color. The stripe is brown and blue and like this pretty cream color. So cute. And I just loved all the blues and these napkins. So maybe I'll turn them into something or maybe I'll just use them to style stuff. I haven't decided, but they were a dollar. So, you know, for 50 cents, I was like, I'll pick them up. And if I use them, I use them. If I don't, I don't. I just thought the color was right for spring. These are two Christmas items that I got. Look at these chunky knit stockings. How cute. So I picked, they had two of them. I got both of them because when Christmas rolls around, I'm going to do the same thing for my Christmas show. I want to bring in lots more fabric and texture. So these will be perfect to sell for my Christmas show. They're very farmhouse in style right now. I think I'm keeping this. I don't know. Look at the color on this bird. It's actually a candle, but why would you burn this? It is so cute. So I'm going to try it in the baby's room. If it works in there, I'm totally keeping this. By the end, she's just going to have birds all over her room. It's going to be a mess. Um, so yeah, pick that up. And then y'all, y'all, little baby basket rattles. Oh my God. Keeping one for sure. They were all a dollar. But I was like, there was a bunch of them. So I'm like, hey, can I buy all of these? And can you just stick them in a bag and give me a good deal? So I got all of these for $2.50. There's a whole bunch of them. I'm going to market them as baby rattles. 
and I'm gonna sell them for maybe three dollars a piece not too much because they're small but they are so cute ah! and I might put like little pink and blue ribbons on them that would be cute I was just like too excited about that one and then here's a little bucket I'm gonna paint this in a pretty spring color it has some floral right here and once I paint it and distress it it's gonna look amazing for you to put flowers or whatever you decide to put in there it will look good in a kitchen with some utensils or something too all right i love the shape of this jar can y'all see it i just thought it was such a pretty different shape and then these were all super cheap so i picked them up to be able to style too because i mean like look this looks great together it'll look great with all my stuff so i picked up that I was really thinking about styling the whole time because you couldn't beat the prices that they had. Y'all, look at these pillow shams. How pretty. I have the perfect, very good quality inserts to put in here. And look how good they look with all my stuff. But, oh, I might have to keep these. These will look so good on my screen and porch. So, I don't know. I'm gonna put an insert in them and then decide if I'm gonna keep them or not. Cause ugh, the colors are amazing. But I'm in the selling mood. Like, need to sell stuff, can't keep everything. All right, this I'm keeping if I've made a deal with myself. If it doesn't sell before the show, if it doesn't sell after the show, this is staying with me. It is, let's see, it says a seam o -matic iron. It's like, metal and wood oh it's so cute this would look so good in my laundry room i love this i got i really try to be picky about the pans because i got so many pans because i just love turning kitchen stuff into wall art so i got two of these pans i like to paint them white and distress them and then put some lavender and stuff in them. They look so cute. I actually have one like this on my kitchen windowsill. And it just has some greenery in it. It's just like the perfect little kitchen decor. It's cute because it's like a pan of lavender. And then I love this. How cute would this be hanging on the wall? I'll probably paint it white and distress it. Let some of this um, silver show through. And then put some greenery on it. I could even turn it this way. I've done one like this before where I put bake life and then some greenery and it's really cute hanging this way on the wall i just like that kind of stuff i love turning kitchen stuff into wall art i got two huge apple baskets so i got two of these are christmas colors so i'll probably just paint the stripes like a different color and they'll be good to go there was lots most of the apple baskets were like christmas colors I got books. They had lots of books, but I held back because I have so many books right now. So I was really picky about what I picked up. I'm trying to figure out where to put the books so I can show y'all. I got this one because I love the front. Like my son has some books kind of like this. And what I do is instead of putting them this way, I style it like this sitting on a shelf. And it's just so cute. Look at those colors. And the little animals just perfect for a little boy's room so that one i will sell by itself i think i might have said that and then i just picked spring colors they had lots of ones but i just tried to stay in the blues and the greens and pick those up so i think i got i got eight or nine books i'm not sure and what I do is I group them in sets of three and sell them. So I'll pick up like three. All right, I'm knocking stuff over. I'll pick out like three complimenting ones and bundle them up with some cute twine and price them. So these are some good colors. All right, I think we're getting a little bit closer to the end. These are my favorite baskets. I have these all over my house. I always pick them up when I find them. They got like the square bottom and then the top is nice and big. So I have two of these in the baby's room. One has our toys, one has our blankets. I have a huge one in my living room that holds toys. I just love these kinds of baskets.
These are for my kids. They are wooden badminton thingies, whatever, rackets, whatever they call it. Um, my kids love playing badminton, but those metal ones always bend up. So I'm like, oh, maybe these wood ones will last. So I gave them one to play with and they already broke it. So maybe it's just my kids, not the rackets, <laughs> right? More baskets. Look at this one. Perfect size for a little trash can. So cute. If I was really good, I could turn it into a pendant light. That would be cute, but never done that before and I probably will not. I'll just sell it as a little basket. But if you want to take on that project, you can take it and turn it into a pendant light. Then one of these hanging plant baskets. It's perfect the way it is. I'll sell it just like it is as a plant hanger. This will look great hanging in somebody's house with a plant in it. But also look great in my house with a plant in it. <laughs> this is a perfect basket to put on a wall. I will put my antiquing mixture on it just to make it look nice and aged. So it'll look more like this color instead of this bright color. This will look great even. I'm trying to look to see. You could put another basket on it or you could put a wreath in it. And then do like a collection of baskets on the side. I like a collection of baskets on the wall. It's very cute. So that one's perfect and flat for the wall. I got this pumpkin. My sweater pumpkins were popular this fall. This one's like already ready to go. I just have to recover it. And then I can put twine in these little uh, crevices. And then it'll be perfect and farmhouse. I don't have to work too much like to do that from scratch is a lot of work so if i can find it already separated out that's great another basket this one's just really cute i'll probably paint this one white and distress it when it has like all these holes it looks so good painted white and distress here's another basket i actually bought a chair i'll have a video of that coming out soon that i wanted a basket to put underneath it so i wasn't sure what size i needed i found this one and i found these it's a stack of them so i picked them both up with that in mind because for the price i'm like i'm just gonna get them both and see what works now this one if i use this one it'll definitely get that antiquing mixture on it because it's way too bright for me so that's what those two baskets are for and then I got two trays. Trays sell well for me, but they it's not something I come across often. So these are perfect, the perfect size. I can go ahead and write a saying on here and they will be super cute. That one will, since it's brown, that one will look great. Uh, painted white and distressed. And then this one's white, so it'll just get a fresh coat of white paint. Or maybe I'll even do a fun color since it's already white. I can paint it a different color. And then I can put a saying or if somebody wants to purchase it, I can put a monogram on it. But I really like the little handles on here. They're really cute. So, little tray. And then, look at this box, y'all. A real vintage box. I paid up for this thing, but it was so cool. This will be for sale and also look great in my booth. I was excited to find that. More baskets. So I love these hanging on the wall. Let me see, where's that big basket? So like you could kind of do something, that one might be too big. Do something like this or a wreath, you know what I'm saying? Like that something needs to be in here, but that's kind of what I have in my head. And yeah, I just like, I got too much stuff. Everything's falling out. I just love these hanging on the wall. They look so good with the style I have going on. All right. Some more baskets. I actually put these on a shutter the other day and it sold right away. So I definitely do more of that stuff. Here's a great little basket. I like these in the kids' rooms because they're super sturdy to be able to put stuff in and just stick it on their shelf. 
And then I got this little wreath. I just thought it would be cute on a sign as an O I could put home. It's like some little cherries or something. Just a fun, bright color. And then I have these chunky, got too much stuff. I have these chunky candlesticks. I love to use these as risers. So you can put candles on them, but I use them to like lift stuff up. So I like mine chunky and big. I'll give them a fresh coat of paint and that will totally update them. And that is it. That is everything that I bought, y'all. Oh my God, so much stuff. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm making myself stay up till midnight every night for the next two weeks. I have so much to do. So tonight my plan is to edit this video so I can share it with y'all and then take all the stuff that all I need to do is clean it and price it and get that done and then make a pile of the stuff that needs to be painted and get that done hopefully tomorrow. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video and now I will put in a um, video from the sale. So if y'all want to watch that, stay tuned. If not, see y'all in the next video. The bargain basement is where they put like odds and ends and stuff that might be broken and in pieces. Um, the stuff here is usually a little bit cheaper. So I definitely like to go look in here and see like I'm okay if stuff is broken because a lot of times I take stuff apart anyway and turn it into other things. There was lots of picture frames and things in here. There were some prints. This big picture frame was so cute, but it was just too big to even deal with. That's my cart, already full. Been here like five minutes. So what they do if you buy a huge item, like say a treadmill or something, they just put a sew ticket on it and then when you're finished shopping, you can drive around and pick it up. There was lots of chairs and they were so cheap, like two and three dollars, but there wasn't anything with any fun spindles or anything like that. And I really hate fixing chairs that aren't in good condition. I'd rather just take them apart. So I just didn't bother with any of the chairs. They had electronics department, a music department. Everything was very organized into different departments. They had lots of rugs to pick from. I really like these two rugs they had right here. Their rugs were a little bit pricey, even at half off. Lots of kitchen and household items. Had a whole basket of these things. I decided to take them all so I would never have to pick up any of these ever again. I should be good for quite a while. Again, everything was separated into section so this was kind of the kitchen area right here lots and lots of Christmas stuff they said they had a Christmas store in town that had went out of sale and they donated a lot of stuff so much floral I have never seen so much floral at one of these sales like I just find this year they had so much more stuff than I had ever seen before but I did think their floral was like a little bit overpriced so I didn't really pick up any of that you see they use the apple baskets I think I emptied that apple basket right there that I just passed up and took it because it was all brown there was just apple baskets everywhere They had Thanksgiving items, they had Halloween items, they had Easter items pretty much every holiday. Everything was organized. So much glass, so much crystal. Just tables and tables and tables of this stuff. Lamps, wreaths, 
like anything and everything it was at the sale it is like 300 garage sales rolled into one that's why i love it so much lots of brass their brass was like a little bit overpriced i don't think i picked up any of the brass Look at these little weird shoes i don't even know what that is If you need glasses, this is the place to go. So many glasses. In every color, every shape, every size. They'll box up all the ones that are similar and you just buy the whole box. Yes. I know. They have lots of lamps and lampshades to pick from. That's not something I really resell, so I didn't pick up any of that kind of stuff. Look at the baskets, guys. Look at the baskets. I am not the only one obsessed with baskets because I saw lots of other people like with tons of baskets. It's like if they want, had one basket, they had 10 baskets, just like me. I thought these might be cute painted, but I decided not to get them. I have one of these ducks, and I thought about getting these, but I didn't. I passed on them. I was trying to be really picky. There was just so much stuff to pick from. I kept looking at this ball. It was like this floral ball, and I just thought it would be so cute painted in distress. But I didn't know if I, it would sell, so I just decided to pass on it. They had a section that had like older antiques in it. This stuff is usually priced a little bit higher, but they have some really cute stuff. Y'all, this is that sewing machine. Remember that sewing machine that I picked up a while back for 10 bucks? This looks like the same one. It was $100 at the sale. Some little pewter chickens. There's my crate that I bought. I thought this little wooden truck was cute. If you had a little boy, that would be cute on sitting on a shelf in their room. He used to love picking up wooden toys when the boys were much younger. I'm going check out There's my the cart. I had to go check out, y'all. <laughs> it was so full. It is full. I would walk around and stuff would fall out. Oh my God. So when you first walked in, it was full of furniture. When I first came, when I went and did my first pass, I just passed right by all this stuff because I wasn't interested in the big furniture. But if you're looking for furniture, they had a lot of it here. And I thought the prices were pretty good for furniture, especially at half off. So look how much stuff they have, okay? And this is the last day of the sale. It had been going on for two weekends already. I think two Fridays, two Saturdays, and this was the second Sunday. And can you imagine the amount of stuff they had on that first day? It just has to be overwhelming.
Lots of curtains, curtain rods, beds. This rocker was cool. Here is the art section. This is one of my favorite departments to come look at is the art. And I thought the art was in the bargain basement. And I'm like, oh, they don't have much this year. And then when I was checking out the first time I saw the art department, it was like way tucked into the corner. They had some really good stuff. If I was going to buy it for myself, which I did buy one for myself, but the prices weren't good enough for me to be able to buy and resell them. I just wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been worth my time because I don't like to sell my stuff for too, too much. Like I like to get a good deal and then give my customer, customer a good deal, but they had some really pretty prints. They had this one picture of this little girl, or maybe it was a little boy, but it reminded me of my baby. It was so cute. But they wanted $40 for it, so that was like a little bit too much for a picture that wasn't even my own kid. These are really pretty. I really like these floral prints. They had lots of vintage books. They were like three and four dollars, but I ended up getting mine for 50 cents. They did two for a dollar. So they had a lot, so I just picked out, you know, the blues and the greens, the springy colors, and that was it. This is in the vintage section, section again. They had lots of dolls, clowns, stuff like that. They had lots of vintage, like napkins and tablecloths, handkerchiefs. They had a jewelry section as well, but it wasn't really vintage jewelry. I guess it was just kind of whatever was donated. So I'll look through it quickly at the end, but I didn't see anything I was interested in. They also had a clothing section and also same thing. I think it's just whatever is donated. It is, was more modern stuff, not anything vintage. So I did find one shirt in that section, but it wasn't super huge. And that is it, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe to Julie's Designs and Signs for more videos like this one.